The first assignment is the discussion board. Let's go to the appropriate button on the left and click on the discussion board. The discussions are ordered in the newest at the top and the top, the newest one, will always be the one that's open. It will indicate it by being in black and a little triangle on the left. Let's go to open form. Open form is optional. If you just have any questions about math, you can put it here. You can click on respond to do that. If you know an answer to another student's question, you're welcome to answer it as well. You do not get any points for this. Discussion one, week one, is required and it is graded. So let's go ahead and look at that. Task one, tell the class a little bit about yourself, is due on August 29th. To do that, you just, under week one, click on respond and answer, or tell the class a little bit about yourself. Task two, which is due September 1st, is responding to at least two other students' posts. To do that, you click on a student's post, scroll down, read it, and hit respond. Here's my post. This is a little video about of me, so you can see what I look like. Let's scroll up and do discussion two. Back to discussion two. This discussion, you will be asking and answering classmates' math questions. To get full credit for this, you must do participate this in repeatedly. You can either ask five questions or you can respond to a minimum of only two questions within 24 hours. It's a whole point system worth 10 points. You can do a combination of both. So you need to read that paragraph to get the details of that. To get full credit, you need to do the following. The first one is the one I'm going to go over. You have to write actual math question and use the math symbol when asking a question or answering. So let's go ahead and do that. To do that, let's click on respond. When you hit respond, notice it goes back to the top of the page. You just have to scroll down and a new screen does appear. In the subject matter, I want you to put where the problem came from. So if somebody is reading this, they can know where it came from and it's better for studying. So let me go ahead and do that. I'm going to ask a question from 1.3 homework problem number two. And then you're going to type in the question in the paragraph right here. So, so let's go ahead and do that. The question is, are the expressions negative five squared and parentheses negative five squared equal? So the next thing I need to type is math. So to type in math, I notice there is a math equation editor x squared button. I have it highlighted. I'm going to click on that. We get a new screen. I need to click on new equation. I obviously need to install my new Java, but I'll just skip that right now. It might ask you if you want to run this application. You need to say yes because you do need Java. In the equation title, you, this one you can put in anything you want. You will be doing each new equation a new title. So I'm just going to put 1.31 for my first one. And in the body, main body here, I'm going to type in a negative. And then for the exponent, the left button, you notice that there's a exponent template right there. I'm going to click there. That template should appear. It's not. There it goes. And I'm going to go to the one that looks like an exponent, the menu. Type in a 5. The right button, a 2. If I wanted to keep on typing and not get out of the exponents, I would have hit a right button again. But I don't need to. And then I'm going to scroll down when you're done with your equation and click on Save and Insert. It should appear at the body of your paragraph. There it is. Finishing this question, I will do it again. Math equation. I've actually already typed in the 
this one in before. It's called 1.32. So if you've already typed it in before, you can just click on it and go to insert. So here's the question. When you're done, you scroll down and click on post response. I will leave this question up, so if you want to answer it, you're more than welcome to. When you're done, go back to week one, because that's the week we're working in, and go to the next assignment. I will think I'll stop here and make a new video on how to watch the actual math videos and do the homework.